Hello guys, welcome to part two of our XBMC walkthrough. In this part, we're going to be looking at four individual steps. In step one, we're going to be looking at the settings menu. In step two, we're going to be looking at installing plugins. In step three, we're going to look at installing scripts. And in step four, we'll look at installing replacement skins to change the look and feel of XBMC. Okay guys, so following on immediately from the last video, the first thing we'll look at is the system menu. Uh, as you can see here on the left, there's a bunch of sub-menus here. We'll just whiz through these quickly. The appearance one just gives you the ability to change the skin, um, which we'll come back to in part four of this walkthrough, uh, and subsequent options there. Uh, the international pane just lets you choose the, the language and the region you're in, which does have a slight effect on uh, the weather plugin whether it's in um, degrees Fahrenheit, degrees centigrade, um, gives you a, a way of changing the way files are listed and also the screensaver. The video settings uh, lets you, gives you various options relating to your library, i.e. do you want to hide uh, the plot for unwatched items, etc. Gives you some playback options about how it's going to render them. You shouldn't really need to change any of these on the majority of installations though. Uh, likewise, it gives you details on the file list, how to display subtitles, what to do with DVDs, and the scrapers that video uh, feeds will use, which is how we download the um, TV show and movie information. Similarly, the music one just gives you a bit of information about how you can do things with your library, uh, some information about playback, file lists. Uh, song submissions to Last.fm and Libra.fm, never really use those. Uh, what to do when an audio CD is put in, and a karaoke feature as well, which could be useful. Similarly, picture one, not a lot of options in here, just basically how to manage files and how to manage a slideshow. The weather plugin we've already seen in the first part of the other video uh, just gives you details of the uh, location settings and just which weather plugin to use. The network one you shouldn't have to change. Um, if your system at home is set up to automatically get IP addresses from your router, then you won't need to change anything from here. The only time you would ever need to change anything from here is if you are uh, using XBMC as a UPnP server to stream your media to other devices. The system basically just gives information about how the system is calibrated, i.e. Um, the video output, the audio output, um, any devices, input devices that are going to be used, um, power saving features, debugging and things like that. And skin is specific to each individual skin that we look at and we'll look at this in part four. Um, this menu will change depending upon what skin we're using. Okay, so now we're going to look at installing uh, plugins into XPMC, and to do that, we need to go to the Programs menu and look at, look at a plugin that's already pre installed, which is the SVN Repo Installer. And what this is is an integration into XPMC of the online repository of plugin scripts and things like that for XPMC. So we'll click on that, and you can see we've got options to check for updates for already existing plugins, or we can look at XBMC add-ons from a variety of sources. We'll go to the XBMC add-ons menu and here you can see there's a, a selection of menus for plugins, scripts and skins. So we'll look at plugins and then we've got a variety of plugins for different things. Let's go to the video ones and now it will go away and it will download all of the appropriate plugins in a list. It's not installing them, just downloading them so that we can select the ones we want to use. I have sped this up, in reality this part will take about three to four minutes depending on the number of items that it has to retrieve. Okay, so now we've got a list of the various plugins that we can install. Uh, a lot of these are pretty pointless. Um, the one that is of great use, if I can just find it, is the YouTube plugin. Now this will allow us, once we download it, and install it, it will allow us to view YouTube videos from within XPMC so we no longer have to open up our web browser and go to YouTube, we can view them directly within XPMC. It just takes a few seconds to download and install 
and then once it's done that we'll be able to view it from the videos menu. Okay that's finished so now if we go to the home menu and go up to videos go to video plugins and you can now see the YouTube ones installed. Likewise we also have the Apple movie trailers installed and what that gives you is the ability to watch movie trailers for upcoming films direct from within XBMC. Okay, so now we'll look at installing uh, scripts. It follows much the same principles as installing plugins. We still use the repo installer, but instead of looking at plugins, we look at scripts. So here we have a list of available scripts. Uh, I'll pick one just to install, uh, a useful one actually, just to show you. It's the RSS editor which will allow us to change the RSS feed at the bottom of the page. So we'll install that. Just takes a few seconds to download and install that. And that should now appear in our scripts field as it does there. What we can then do is select it and then we just type in an RSS feed, click OK and then when we go to the main menu you can see at the bottom we there have the uh, RSS feed for techmadeeasy.co.uk Okay, so in this last part of the video we're going to look at how to install skins in XPMC and the way we do this is slightly different, we do it just from our Windows desktop uh, so the first thing we have to do is go to xbmc.org in our web browser, go to the download section and click on skins. This will bring up a list of available skins for XBMC. For each one of these you can click on the image, view the release notes and then view screenshots of each skin. When you've decided on one you want to download, follow the download link which will always be in the top right hand corner of the page and that will take you to the download page for that particular skin. What you need to do then is move the folder containing the skin to the appropriate directory in your XBMC installation. And this is different for every different platform. In Windows this will be the user directory backslash XBMC backslash skins. For most Linux installations it will be forward slash dot XBMC forward slash skin. And for Apple Mac users, it will be your user area, forward slash library, forward slash application support, forward slash XPMC, forward slash skin. Once you've dropped those in place, restart XPMC, go to the system menu, go to the appearance submenu, and the different skins will be available here. So here we have Confluence, the default skin, and our additional skin that we've installed just then. That's about all for this video guys, uh, remember you can check out our additional videos at our website www.techmadeeasy.co.uk uh, We're always happy to hear from people so feel free to uh, visit the website, leave some comments or send us an email. Thanks guys.